Hey guys, how's it going? I got in a Camp Chef DLX pellet uh, smoker, barbecue smoker. Yeah, also we got the the jerky racks for it. That's what it looked like. The three racks in there. And then the cover, also from Camp Chef. Both of those are Camp Chef. And and this is basically how it came. We got it at a local store in Colorado Springs. The store is Colorado Barbecue Outfitters. There's the information if you want to call them or email or look at their website. So guys, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Looks like it comes pretty well packed. like we got the ash uh, cup for the bottom, the inside grate, the vent, handle, and that guy for the pellets, for the hopper. Well, we're actually new to smoking, so as you watch our videos and the unboxing and cooking with it. It's going to be from a new person standpoint. You know, a lot of videos out there just basically be, these people have been doing it for a while. So, you know, for them, they probably don't overlook things. They probably overlook things and, you know, they know what they're doing. We don't. Well packaged. are inside the unit. More foam. Lots of foam in this guy, so it is packed really good. Kind of does smell oily. Yeah, I can see. Oil. Some things probably don't rust. Oh yeah, it's even dripping down here. I'll probably wipe it out, wipe these things off. Probably even wash those. Yep, let's see. Okay, everything's out of it. I will go ahead and leave the foam on. Everything so far looks good, no damage. Obviously, I'd want to stop right now if it's had damage. So, hopper. Oh, that's the, the bucket for the uh, grease to the side. And the holes. This hole's lower than this side, which is pretty self-explanatory matching that up. Okay guys, it's together. I guess the legs just kind of wobble kind of a little bit. That one's on the ground. So I will go ahead and pick this up. There we have it. Basically together, don't have the handle on. That's how it comes, you couldn't really see on camera. Some foam to protect it. And just to kind of change the design of the lid, 
Looks like it kind of had a cut at one time. Let's see a cut in that. <sighs> Similarly, put on legs. If you need to break down the hopper, they show you how it's all together, so that's good. Okay, I'm failing today. It shows the edge of that facing up to the lid. The lid is open. So with the lid open, handle, you see their whole thing shows like some weird cutout. Logic tells you they give you a space. So I'm guessing that does not sit flush. I think. So that, that piece isn't too intuitive in the directions from what the picture shows just because it looks like they've had a lid design change where, I'll get, again, I'll point out the lid looks like it had this lip that went up and around the handle. Don't see that. I mean, it doesn't have it. And down here for the handle it shows that piece with the lip. This is open and it's facing that way but it's kind of on an angle because it's not going to sit flush because it doesn't stick out got me cool they put it on with a magnet they were thinking <laughs> I was like oh no oh same with that one don't have to peel it off Just I guess assembly, I'll clean out the inside, I'll just wipe it down. Or you can get the propane sear and put that on the side versus the shelf. So, four holes. There's threaded inserts in here already, so no nuts. And that's a big Phillips. I wish they would have just used Allen for everything. They give you the Allen wrench. A note to self, another set of hands would be good. Got myself a screwdriver like this with a bigger head on it for the Phillips. I think that's what it want. Yep, perfect fit. And it's longer. So I can reach up in here. Oh guys, I cleaned the inside. Yeah. Wipe down the inside. You're going to do a burn anyways to burn off any impurities and stuff. And, but Still doesn't hurt to just wipe it down. I took the plastic off the chimney. This is how it looked in the bag. That comes off, that actually threads into there. And then you have your adjustment nut on the bottom. And it's, it's bolted on with all the washers in the order that you need. It's a big washer, lock washer, nut washer on this side. For some reason, if you take that off and you're like, how did that go on? You know one thing, guys? If you're setting it up because it's winter like I am inside the house to get it through a back door, I'm going to leave this off. Okay, guys. So pretty much what I'm going to do next is put in the heat deflector, which is this piece right here. It's pretty straightforward. It just goes in over the burn... I'm going to say box, not quite sure what that terminology is, but where the pellets fall into to burn. And then this is like your grease tray. It goes the opposite way. The big end goes towards the, the shelf. Ah, I see. Okay, that makes sense. That's in. I will um, also. I washed everything. I mean, it was dripping in oil, so and it smelled. <laughs> it had a strong uh, odor to it. So next thing, I'll put in the uh, grate. Which is this guy. It's pretty straightforward. Other than the 
vent, which I'll put on outside, which is just two bolts, it bolts right together. So, speaking of which, we'll just set this down here right now. Okay guys, here we are with the Camp Chef Smoker Pro DLX. There's other videos that, you know, the people are, they've been smoking for a while. So, you can get more information from them. They're probably more knowledgeable as far as comparing smokers and now what to look for. What we really liked was having the probe, having the you got the bypass, you got the probe temp, your fuse is right here. Now, I think your fuse is blown. The Traeger, you have to take apart everything to get to it, which would be a pain. It's not likely it would blow, but if it did, just a pain. It's right here, you know. So we really like that aspect of it. We also just uh, like the hopper as far as... Was it great? But we really like that you could just empty it out. It has a safety right here. And the vet will go on here. And then this is where you put your bucket for your grease catch. Which the bucket is right here. Still wrapped up. But it just hangs on there. And yeah, I mean, I guess some people like having a shelf down here and they were like, well, we could, we can put one on. It's like another hundred bucks. We're like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Not being like having doors, you know, like a, a normal grill. The shelf would just be silly here. Things would just blow away. So it really wouldn't do any good for us. Um, this is the inside. This is that little shelf. Like I said I uh, just temporarily put it there. See the probes there, that's so I'm just being careful. So the probe comes up. Other units, I think it was the Traeger. The uh, this rack like can bump how they have it. It doesn't have its own like channel. I'm not quite sure what that is. Hopefully it burns away. Feels like silicone with possibly some paper stuck to it. Yeah, silicone with just some paper stuck to it. Scratch it off. And so if you want to put your uh, probe through or uh, extra or if you have a wireless one goes through there and you have this like little block that can cover it. The lid has a magnet, helps hold it down, which is nice. It's way oversized, so water should not get into that area. It should be pretty well sealed as you would want it to be, you know, because you don't want your pellet pellets swelling up from everything I've read. Like I said, I'm new to this, so Oh, in a close-up of how this handle part goes together. See, I don't know why they did it like that. So that will deflect some heat. Not quite sure what the reasoning behind that piece is. But the lid goes down like this. There are some modifications you can do. You can, you can get uh, the green egg, a certain type of uh, seal. You can stick it on here and go around. I might do that, relook that up. The guy, a guy on YouTube had a good suggestion and you put that on. That will just stop your a lot of smoke from wasting coming out from the sides. Also, you can use a welding blanket, cover this, and especially here in Colorado where it does get cold and can get really cold, that will uh, just save on pellets so you're not like full blast if the temperature overnight dips down. I'll, I'll show you in a separate video the jerky rack and the cover. But for now, yeah, there you guys go. I, hopefully this helps you. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.